What's up, what's up? Six Sensei here bringing you my first drop zone tutorial, uh, line of sight, spawn system video, whatever you want to call it. All right, so let's get right into it, guys. First things first, if you if you want to play drop zone and you want to play the objective, you want to play it, this is the class I recommend. Kind of take a second to, to take it all in. MP7, the blast shield, those are the kind of things that really make a difference. Everything else is kind of really up to you. Uh, the C4 is really nice in here, too, if you're leveled up high enough to utilize it. Now, first of all, if you spawn on this side, uh, let's start with some opening routes here. If you spawn on this side, I like to throw my concussion grenade right over this building and take this route. Uh, you got to watch for some snipers over this way and maybe that way. But I like to take the C4, throw it, kind of blow that truck up because it's, it's just a danger the rest of the game in all honesty. Now, when I do run up on this truck, I like to hit the front of it and check them there, check them there, and then hit fire my way through this side. Normally, I can, you know, normally me and my team can get through the whole team if I just do like this and take the rest of them. Now, once you kill the team, right, they're going to spawn down here. I like to check this side because you can see more of it while still in cover you know what I'm saying I'm still covered here and I could check I could see more of this where they're gonna move in I like to check this and then move this way and check that now once you kill them here they're gonna spawn on the other side now if you spawn on this side which you'll spawn right here uh, you can do the same thing kinda you just open a route you throw that stun over the top of this building and I run this route right here now you, you may want to check right here but you're gonna get them right there and right there and they're gonna spawn over here you pick them off and the same thing again. Once you kill the team, they spawn on the other side. Now, 9 out of 10 times, as it just demonstrated, after the first drop zone, it always comes to either this one or this drop zone. So this drop zone right here is interesting, right? You always are going to always die on this drop zone. I swear to God, you're going to die. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. If you play the objective, you're going to die right here. But that being said, they're going to spawn from back here. They're going to spawn back here. And very seldom will they come from right here. Um, but the biggest funnel zone, if you play in the objective, is right there. The biggest funnel zone, if you play in the objective, is right there. So, there's a drop zone on this original spawn right here that we try to talk about real fast. Uh, there's not a whole lot here, right? They're going to spawn down there. They're going to spawn over here. The major spawn for this one is right here. But uh, if you get, if you find yourself in danger, um, just kind of head glitch right here. You, you may find yourself with a little bit of... You, you're not going to play the objective right here. You're not going to touch it, but you can grab it. And then kind of, you know, pick them off, go, go back and grab it and do your thing. Uh, you don't really have to worry about that side, by the way, when you're over there. You don't have to worry about that side. Now, this drop zone right here is interesting because of one thing. Uh, they have a head glitch right here. That's not the interesting thing. Um, they don't really come from back there. <coughs> I got freaking something in my throat. Sorry. They don't come from right there. But you can cap the drop zone right in here. It's pretty sweet. You're close enough to it right here. Where you can cap the drop zone. Um, and you can kind of come right here and pick them off. Pick them off when they're coming down there and kind of kind of push their face in. Um, and the last objective is the one that we skipped earlier. It usually goes to this one first, in all honesty. Um, but if you didn't know this, right, let's talk about this right quick. The, it always goes, in drop zone, it always goes from the first objective. And then it plays every other objective in a random order. And then it comes back to this one. So... It never plays one twice before it makes a full round, ever. So if you pay attention, right, we know it went there, we know it went over there, we know it's here right now, the next one has to be our original spawn. It has to be. There's no option. But for this one, this is a pretty good one. You can, you can, Your team can bank some points. Of course, there's this aggravating sniper head glitch. Uh, they spawn right here. This is big time funnel zone right here. What I like to do for this drop zone is you play the objective right here. Look at this head glitch. It's ridiculous. Pick them off as they come. Pick them off over here. And then, when they climb up that wall, get them. I play the objective right here so hard. It's retarded. And if you get nades on you or something, you just jump right out. Now lay down. Pick them off some more. It's awesome. Anyway, guys, I believe that is all we have to talk about today for this map of Drop Zone Mission. Uh, if you liked it, please let me know. And uh, if you have a map that you would like to see me do next, uh, let me know in the comment section below. And... Uh, We'll do what we can. Oh, another thing. This is a nice little line of sight. For this drop zone right here, if you occupy this side, this line of sight, if you got an assault rifle or a sniper rifle, um, they are going to come down here. But you got to watch your back because they'll spawn in here. But they're going to come down there, and you're going to uh, you're going to be more advantageous to pick them off that way than waiting for them to get right up close to you and, and try to get them like this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't camp right here. You, you're going to die. You may get one. Oh, oh, another thing. When you see that, that's a juggernaut. It's always a juggernaut. Uh when you saw that uh, that that airplane come by and it's the bigger airplane, you hear that. Even if it's the enemy team, it always does that. It's either a juggernaut or it's a multi-care package, more like a uh, emergency airdrop type of thing. 
So that was just kind of luck that we got to we got to discuss that. So anyway, guys, that's it for this map. Uh, I'm Six Sensei. Thank you for joining me, and I'm out. Peace.